All right, so today we're gonna to be checking out the outer box outer grip for the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Now this is just another spinoff of the Symmetry series. That's something that outer box does. They add a little bit to it, whether it's a pop socket on the back, or in this case, it's gonna be a phone grip. Now we know phone grips, MagSafe phone grips are becoming insanely popular. So outer box had to jump on the wave. So I appreciate that. And also a shout out to outer box for sending me not only the auto grip over here, but something that I knew Autobox could do when I saw their buttons. And yes, they have now joined the interchangeable buttons game. So shout out to Autobox for doing that. We'll, we'll test these out at the end and see how those buttons work. But let's go ahead and get into it. It says grip it one-handed, snap it to MagSafe charging and accessories drop tested up to three times. Let's go ahead and take it out of the packaging. Now they did send just the plain Jane black version over. Now you can head over to the website. They have a few different colors to choose from. I know some of you only like to order things from Amazon, but guess what? Amazon only has one color. So you're gonna have to skip over to the Autobots website in case you wanna review some more colors of this thing. But let's go ahead and check it out. Like I said, if you're used to the Symmetry series, it's gonna be that same plain matte back, matte black back <laughs> when it comes to the back of this device. But one thing that makes it special is you do have that pull out grip right here, which if you need to use it one handed, this just gives you that reassurance that you're not gonna drop your phone. I don't know about you, when I go on vacation, different things like that, you know, we could be taking pictures over, you know, ledges and different things like that. Guess what? This is gonna give you that ex extra security to let you know that you are not gonna drop it. And as I always say, I love things that's there when you need it, out of the way when you don't, and that's exactly what this auto grip does and this grip on the back. Now, flipping over on the inside, you kind of see what's going on here. You kind of have the area where that auto grip is, but one thing I'm very curious about is, does this thing work with MagSafe charging? Is there a charger up in here that's embedded within the phone grip? So we definitely, definitely gonna talk about that. But the first thing we wanna go ahead and do is pop open the scale. Well, we're not popping open the scale. We're bringing out the scale. Let's see how much this auto box outer grip weighs and it's going to be 56 grams all right so not the lightest i would have thought it was going to be a little lighter than that but it's not terrible let's go ahead and pop the phone in the case and let's see what we have going on and that is going to be a very very snug fit and i wouldn't think anything less when it comes to the outer box line because they, they've been killing it lately with these symmetries their new series the fitment has really been on point so let's go ahead and step around and see what we got so on that top side it's going to be completely closed nothing going on there on your right side you're going to have that outer box little branding very subtle you know out of box i'm glad they calmed the, the the branding down over the years on the cases you're going to get that power button which is very nice and tactile, no issues there. Once again, we'll get to swapping them out. Flipping over the bottle, all of your cutouts to your lightning and your speakers are good to go here. On that left side, volume up, volume down, which these buttons are interchangeable as well. Work just good. Getting to that mute toggle switch is just big enough and it's not too small. Flipping it over on that back, even with those cameras, you do have a faint. You have a little lip that's going on in there, so they are recessed. So we're talking about sitting down on the table, anything like that. You probably can do a little light drop, nothing too serious. Your cameras will be protected. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the lay on the table protection, all right? As soon as we get this bad boy to focus, I do have that timber glass screen protector. You already know the one I'm using will be linked down below in the description. But it has a faint lip that goes all the way around. So, I mean, that's just like how out of box cases are. You're going to get a lip that goes around it. That's just what it is. You're going to get that type of protection. So, sit it down on the table. You good. It says drop test it up three times. I will probably give this to lightweight to medium -ish you might can drop it kind of serious and be fine just nothing too extreme when we are talking about dropping it so you do get a little lip that goes on there now let's talk about how this case fits on the phone because we know that's important especially at this $60 price point yes yeah, $60 we're going to talk about that in a minute but let's go ahead and go through it now pulling on the sides you see that it is very tight there is no give at all the, the trouble areas though bottom even though it still moves, it is still very stiff and that material feels very solid to where I don't think it'll droop over time. And on that top side, same thing, it is very solid. So everything when it comes to the fit of this Otter Box, Otter Grip, whole bunch of otters, <laughs> This thing is solid. The fit is solid, the fit is tight. I wouldn't really change anything about the fit. It feels rock solid when it comes to gripping up on this phone. <laughs> So how does it feel in your hands? It's gonna add a little bit of weight, a little bit of thickness to your phone, but I don't think it's gonna add that much when we talk about Autobox. These new Autobox cases, especially the Symmetry, the new series, 
they are a little bit more you know, thin. They're a little bit more streamlined, so it's not really adding that much bulk how it used to back in the day. On the back side, when you're talking about fingerprints, yeah, you might get a few little fingerprints on here a little bit, but it's a matte surface. You can easily wipe them off. But just like I stated, with that phone inside holding it, with that phone grip, is clutch right there. And let's see if you can kind of rotate it and... Well, not really strong enough to use it as a stand. I like I like for when the phone grips are sturdy enough to use it as a stand, but this one, yeah, you're just gonna be using this as a phone grip. Now, Autobot, I kinda gotta give you some constructive criticism when it comes to the back of this case and the auto grip. Now, 60 bucks when it comes to this case. I want things to be a little bit more, uh, what's the word? Just a little bit more cleaned up. Just a little bit, just clean up just a little bit when it comes to this. Now, this thing kinda wiggles. You know, I know it's plasticky, and I know you have what you have going on when it comes to the auto grip, but I feel like, I mean, you can almost use this thing like a little fidget spinner. Now, it's nothing crazy. You're not really going to be doing that on a regular basis, but it was something that I felt when I was earlier in the video, and I'm going through it. I kept hitting it, and it just spun real easy and kind of wiggled and moved a little bit easy. So if you can just maybe clean that up a little bit, clean that mechanism up some type of way on the inside to where you already hear wiggling and, and moving around, I think you'll be good to go. Now, the one thing that I wanted to test out was gonna be this MagSafe, all right? Now, if, by the way, if you're watching this video, man, if you're still here, make sure you hit that sub button so you can come back and get some more of this goodness, man. We have fun over here when it comes to the accessories. So let's go ahead and test out this MagSafe charging. Does it work with MagSafe with the auto? Yes, it does. Thank you, thank you, thank you, because there are a lot of phone cases out there that has grips, MagSafe grips, that just nukes MagSafe charging. But this right here is what I wanted to see when it came to the Autobox. And, ooh, okay, Autobox with the, with the magnet strength. You have very strong magnets. You know if you can pick up this base right here, you know you're rocking out with the very strong magnets, and that's exactly what Autobox did. So I am very impressed, very, very impressed with the strength of MagSafe. Very strong MagSafe, all right? Let's go ahead and bring some MagSafe accessories over here so we can go ahead and test it out with the auto grip to see if it kind of interferes with any MagSafe accessories. And it is flat, all right? Even though that's back there, it is flat and you don't see any protruding, anything that's telling you that, hey, I'm, there's something under me and it's in my way of actually becoming fully adhered to the back of the phone. So works just fine. You get that strong MagSafe strength as well when it comes to that. Throwing the Apple MagSafe wallet on there, it popped right into place, very confident. Once again, no gap right there getting in the way from the back of the phone and attaching a MagSafe accessory. So that's good to see right there. Now, let's go ahead and pop it off and let's test out some of these buttons that they sent because this was dope to see that, hey, they actually have buttons that you can interchange. Now, I'm assuming this could be all of them. They have a green, a purple, blue, kind of a, a red color, and then they also have a kind of like a sage green color. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and pop the blue ones out, all right? We'll go ahead and get all these out, and we're gonna see how hard it is to put these on to pop them out. So interchangeable buttons, you're gonna go from the outside and you're basically just gonna pop in, all right? So there it is, that one just fell right out. Let's get the new one here and then let's get, boom, boom. Okay, that was easy enough. Pop right in when it comes to those power buttons. Same thing with the volume up and down buttons. You kind of got up. Now you got to force these bad boys a little more than most cases. So this is a very, these buttons are really in there, but that is not a bad thing. But you really got to fight to get these buttons out. So this, I'm almost got it. All right, there's there. And then let's go ahead and pop the blue ones in. They pop in easy, but when it comes to popping these bad boys out, you do have to put up a good little fight to get them out. So there it is. These are gonna be the buttons in. Let's go ahead and throw the phone back in the case so we can see. Yeah, interchangeable buttons work just good. You can see now I have the light blue buttons in here. So very good job, very good job out of box. I've always felt like you can do the interchangeable buttons, but it's finally glad to see that my assumption was right. All right, because I'm a caseologist. I can see these things, man. But good job when it comes to out of box. So should you buy? This case is going to be 60 bucks. It's up there with the heavy hitters, all right? I really feel like this is a solid buy. If you need a phone grip, you have it built in to where you don't have anything protruding off the back of your phone. It's still going to work with all of your MagSafe accessories. You have a very tight fit. You have interchangeable buttons. I mean, 
I don't really know what more you want. I would like to see maybe a little bit of more grip just because this is a matte type of matte type of side, but it isn't too slippery. That auto box, it's just something about it to where it still gives you a little bit of grip. So I think this is solid. I mean, 60 bucks, you know what you're going to pay for the Autobox name. If you like Autobox, but you want something a little bit more streamlined and you like everything that this has going on, especially that grip, interchangeable buttons, very tight fit. You get that nice Autobox protection. I really don't feel like it's a bad buy. I feel like you would do pretty good if you want to go out here and get the outer box, outer grip. Now, if you do want to test out what I think is the best case from Autobox for the 14 Pro Max, go ahead and check out the new series. I will leave that video right here.